this is a dog. So I'm starting the readings off this month with a little bit of levity. I spent about $30 on this at eBay, including shipping. I've been collecting toys for a few years now. We're on Cancer, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury. I have a lot of random weird channels I have this one channel, has about 63 subscribers. Chupacabra Cinema is just shorts, and it's me playing with toys. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury, using my 210 Tarot, one of my mini decks available at makeplayingcards.com. What's going on with Cancer? Six cards. Four of Cups, Quattro de Copas. Six of Cups, Ace the Copas. Page of Cups, so the, the Copas. Five of Cups, Cinco de Copas. Four of Swords, Cuatro de Espadas. I see you remembering someone. Five of Pentacles, Cinco de Oros. You're focusing on someone from your past. This connection you had that didn't really turn into anything. Uh, you may have invested a lot more emotionally than this person did. But I see you just sitting around and focusing on this. I don't see you Dating, I don't see you actively pursuing something new with someone else. There were qualities in this person that you would like to find in a relationship. It's like a friend told me years ago when I was very fixated on my Capricorn ex and I was projecting and I had him on a pedestal and these guys that I was dating in San Antonio, they just didn't meet the criteria. No one could compare to this Capricorn ex. And she said, you know, it didn't work out with him for a reason. What you can do is cherry pick, you know, find qualities that you liked in him and in other exes, make a list. And that's what you want to focus on. Not the man, not the person, but the list. What qualities did you value in this particular person? And you can go and look at a lot of your exes or a few of your exes, whatever. And you can see a pattern, um, It's always been energy for me. I've never really had a particular type. Um, looking back at all of my exes, there's really not much. As far as a pattern, I wouldn't say these men have much in common. My serious exes. Anyway, you could cherry pick. It clearly didn't work with this person. They were not as invested as you were. What is it about this person that makes them stand out? Why did they have such a profound, lasting effect on you? And you can manifest a relationship where there is respect, there is mutuality with someone who is as emotionally involved as you are, and you can find traits that you found in this ex, but it'll be better because this person will show up the way you need them to show up. That's what I'm getting Please provide an energetic summation through additional cards. Nine of Pentacles, maybe the Oro. So you've been on your own for a while now. And you've had time to assess, to do the work, to heal. 
and to determine that going forward, you're not going to eat your heart out over someone who's not reciprocating. Nine of Swords, maybe the Espadas, it's like I say all the time at my channels, at Patreon and client readings, you cannot manifest a life worth having from Nine of Swords. That is fear-based thinking, that's obsession, that's anxiety, that's depression. And I don't speak about this lightly because I've had my own struggles since childhood with trauma, with depression, with anxiety as an adult, CPTSD. So I know about the Nine of Swords. I'm very familiar with this energy. Uh, I have to fight it tooth and nail. What I found these past five years, doing a deep dive, being pretty much in hermit mode for five years, um, it's just consistent spiritual hygiene, just breathing in, breathing out, meditating. I go through about three, four, five, six journals a year Gratitude journals, manifestation journals. I write down the transits of the moon, the the phases of the moon, the astrological transits, my progress chart, my solo return chart. Um, I've spent thousands of dollars at Amazon on books, workbooks. I've tried this thing and that thing. I've done shadow work. Um, the work never ends, but I have a 10th house Saturn that makes a lot of aspects. Saturn in Gemini in the 10th house tops my chart. So for me, the work never ends. So I guess, I don't really know, but um, I'm doing a lot of cleanup work, maybe from previous incarnations. And now in this lifetime, it's not about being glamorous. It's not about being uh, favored. I have to buckle down and do the gritty dirty work so that I don't repeat this. I need to learn these lessons and move on. So I'm very proactive with my spiritual health. I have to be. When I go to sleep, I'm listening to Dylan James on a loop. It's eight hours of him doing these, um, him saying these money affirmations Although he does specialize in romantic relationships, love. Uh, he has about, I don't know, 60,000 subscribers at his YouTube channel. He's a manifestation coach, but it makes me feel better. It makes me feel like I'm being proactive listening to his money affirmations. And I make my own affirmations at Sky Radio. So... Gratitude is the key, being consistent with the self-care. And for years, I didn't know. I thought self-care was going to the nail salon, getting a mani-pedi, but that ain't it. Retail therapy, that ain't it. That's a very small part of it. Um, I am a very firm believer in law of attraction and meditation. I feel like we'd be a lot better off in the United States if we started teaching meditation to our children in kindergarten. But people have strong opinions and organized religion is still a thing and I, I can't fight it. So I don't try. I'm just sweeping up my little corner of the world. So take care of yourself. Eight of Cups, Ocha de Copas. You're going to have to release this X in order to clear space, create space for someone new, someone you can have a mutual, um, beautiful relationship with where there's reciprocity and there's respect and there's emotional availability. Six more cards for cancer, say smos, por favor. Those the Bostos, two of wands. Three of the Copas, three of cups. Five of Pentacles, Cinco de Oros. Seated the Copas, seven of cups. 
He has the Copas, Ten of Cups. La Muerte, Death. So you can choose to stay in this. You can choose to pine for this person, long for this person, sit around, wait around for them to contact you again and wait for them to decide on you. Or you can take your power back, make a list, and be very clear on what exactly you want to manifest in an optimal relationship where your needs are being met. I've said it numerous times, I manifested all of my exes. We're all always manifesting either intentionally or unintentionally. We're either conscious or we're not conscious. I strongly recommend uh, being conscious, being aware, being intentional. I was never really focused on physicality when it came to my exes. Uh, I was focused more on their energy. The Capricorn X, the man that I felt the most intense love for. Two weeks before meeting him, December 2012, I was in a very, very dark, low place and I just lit a pink candle and I scribbled on a piece of paper in a spiral notebook that I wanted to meet a Capricorn who had Mars and Sagittarius who liked to fish and dance. Let it go, forgot about it. I didn't really think anything was going to happen. And then December 23rd, I was doing last minute Christmas shopping in Alamo Heights, this ritzy section of San Antonio. And I walked into the Broadway 5050 just intending to get a bacon cheeseburger and a beer before returning to the apartment, sat down, placed my order, and this man showed up and invited me to sit with him and his sons in the back. They were drinking and shooting pool, and everything I wrote on that list manifested in this man, and a lot extra. So when you are manifesting, ideally, you want to be in a really high vibration. Again, you can manifest from Nine of Swords being in a really do low, dark place. You can manifest from that, but you're going to manifest something karmic where there are harsh lessons to be learned. Anyone can manifest a relationship. That's not hard. But to manifest this, you have to be in a high vibration, and it starts with gratitude. So... That's what I have for cancer. I hope that helps. Thanks so much for watching. Peace out.